Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we have Tara Nelson, and we just wanted to share her client testimony. She's been a client for a while, and I just felt that she could be um, motivating to other people. And of course, Tara's amazing, so she knows how I feel about her. But um, so Tara, go ahead and tell us, how long have you been with For Your Wellness? Um, for about 10 years now. It's wow. crazy, yes, it, and, and we, we've done- It doesn't you know, feel like, like it's been 10 years though. I know, it doesn't, and um, you know, uh, and life happens, and so like there may have been like a couple of months or six months or a year in between that you've, that you've stopped just because life takes over and um, you've, you've had several pregnancies during that 10 years, so you know, there was, there was a lot of things involved, a lot of things. So what made you decide to start the programs? Um, I knew as a mom, I needed to get back in shape. Uh, I couldn't be an effective caregiver for my children if I wasn't in the best shape myself. And I was experiencing some health problems that kind of were eye-opening to me as a mom and was like, I need to make a change. You are correct. You are correct. And that, that is something I remember from day one when I, the very first day that, that we had our very first consultation. And that was the, exactly what you said at that point. And then it, even more so as the years have went, went on that, it, you know, more things have happened and, and you've definitely, you've got um, eight children right now in your home. So you definitely have to take care of you so it's exciting to see that you've never given up on yourself, that you just keep trying to better yourself for your children and your family. So what are the benefits that you've noticed the most? Um, less pain overall. I can walk without my knees dislocating now. Um, my back pain has, has significantly decreased. Um, I've lost weight, so that's a plus too. Um, and my energy levels are a lot higher than what they were without needing to drink like six pots of coffee a day. <laughs> I remember those days too, where you were like, I can't stop drinking my coffee. I have to have my coffee. <laughs> so like um, now I'm down to like one cup of coffee in the morning and then I have like a hot tea in the afternoon, but I'm not constantly drinking coffee, relying on it to get through the day. So Yes, and, and it's crazy because coffee is not bad for you as long as you have, you know, in moderation. And that's what we had talked about. It's like, it's okay if you want that one. Because I do, I do a coffee uh, in my protein shake in the mornings and I don't go without it. Like, I, it's like I can't function without my caffeine first thing in the morning. So that reminds me when we first started working together, you know, I was drinking vanilla caramel lattes like all day long. I have not had a vanilla caramel latte in like six years. Oh my gosh, isn't that insane? Well, and have you, you know, I know that there are healthier ways now to make make them, but um, have you tried any of that? Like, like doing, you know, almond milk or coconut milk or whatever in your- um, Right now I just do non-dairy creamer and then I use uh, sweet and low because my husband is diabetic. So I try not to keep sugar in the house um, just because if he doesn't have any self-control when it comes to that. So for me, having it there is a way of me being like, no, you need to watch what you're doing. Um, and it's actually helped him a lot too. So I just use non-dairy creamer and sweet and low now. That's awesome. Yeah. And Which learning how to... Calories before were like 500 calories for one latte. <laughs> And it's crazy, you know, I have so many friends and, and even clients that they used to always like spend all their money at Starbucks, you know, and, and I'm like, first of all, it's expensive, but second of all, like, do you know how many calories just your one little Starbucks still is, you know, like one, like you said, like a latte, like, uh, yeah, it's horribly crazy. They do have better options. Yeah, the Frappuccinos, I think are like 1200 calories. Yeah. It's yeah. And they, they have options now. And I've told clients, you know, ask them about their almond milk or their coconut milk and they have non-dairy stuff. And, 
and they have a lot better ways to make it better for you. I have no clue if it tastes good, but um, most of my clients just stop drinking them, you know, and go to plain coffee with just a little cream in it. But um, so let's talk about the one main thing that you have learned about fitness and nutrition. Um, I think for me, I feel like it's the most important thing. And that is that diets don't work. They are a repeating cycle. And so like, you'll, you'll say, oh, I'm on a diet and then you might lose 10 pounds and then you're like, oh, I'm good. And then you kind of get comfortable and you're like, no, I can eat, you know, four slices of chocolate cake or I can drink five lattes. And suddenly you've gained that 10 pounds back and it's just a repeating cycle. So the biggest thing is remembering that this is a lifestyle change. Like it's okay to enjoy what you want to enjoy in moderation, but you still need to make sure that you're keeping your nutrition, especially um, like an 80, 20 I kind of aim for 80% good and then still allow that 20% for if I just really want something that way I don't feel deprived. Um, and I've had to kind of learn my own balance with that. I've learned that now I take like one day a week. Um, and if I want a bag of potato chips or if I want something like that, then it's okay to have it as long as the next day I'm back on track with my nutrition and movement is really big too. Um, even if you're just walking around your house for 10 minutes at a time, that's a lot better than just sitting at your desk for hours a day. <laughs> yeah, you are correct on all of that. And, you know, I always tell everyone it's, it's not perfection that we're going for. We're going for progress. So, you know, nobody's going to be perfect. Nobody's going to stay on a diet. It's just the way we are made. Um, and I, I, I have my bad days and I have really, really good days and I have some okay days just like you do or just like everybody else does. And, and that is something I have seen you learn, like you're super um, receptive to that. It's, it took you just a little bit, but once you got started with that, you know what to eat, you know, and you're, you know how to kind of actually, you've learned how to adjust for your, your and food allergies and health issues and things like that, because everybody's different, everybody. And, yeah. um, and like I think that- Body, I feel like is important too, because at the end of the day, like what works for me may not work for somebody else. And I think it's super important to listen to your body and know, kind of pick up on those subtle cues. Like maybe you didn't sleep well last night because you had too many carbs at dinner, or maybe, you know, that little bit of sugar that you had just before bed, like totally crashed your sleep cycle. Um, I feel like it's important to kind of realize that your body is going to be a little bit different than somebody else's and knowing how to work around that and figure out what works best for you is super important too. Yes, very, very true. Everybody is, it, it is insane how many clients that I've had over the years that I don't think anybody's the same. I don't think anybody I've ever trained is, has reacted the same and we've had to play with it and kind of move things around, whether it's diet or even the exercise, you know, to make them feel good and to see results. So you're right on that. Very right. Um, what would you say is your biggest struggle? Honestly, my biggest struggle is the fact that I have eight kids in my home and making time to get my workout in. I've known, I figured out that with my food, I can prep ahead on Sundays and I can just clear my Sunday afternoon schedule to get that meal prep done. And then I keep my nutrition pretty on track for the rest of the week. Um, as far as workouts go, I schedule two workouts a week. Um, I'm kind of trying to get back into a better routine so that I can start working out in the morning. And I think putting the kids in public school is also going to help with that because now I'm not going to be rushing around trying to watch eight kids while I'm working out and doing everything else. Um, but the hardest struggle I feel like is definitely making the time for me. It is. And then, you know, some days I know, like, no matter what you do, you can't make that time. Like, there's just only one, one you. And when you are being pulled in so many directions that it's hard, but I think it's good that you realize that it's important to make time for you. And you're right. Once you, you know, kind of you, once you find what works for you, 
that's when you'll do it. So like you said, doing it in the morning um, and get it done before anybody can give you something else to do for the day. You know, that that's what I always did when I went through weight loss was I got up at 530 in the morning before everybody else was awake. I don't know how I did it because I'm not a morning person, but I did. And if I didn't, then if I waited until I got off work, because I worked full time as well, um, I th there was always something that had to be done. You know, always dinner right being cooked. Or you're tired. Like you're just like, I just went through this yes. day. Like I've taken care of X amount of kids. I've just worked a full shift. Like I am tired. And then you don't want to do it. Um, yes. And so I feel like for me, it's making myself get up in the mornings. Um, I was sleeping until like 7.30 in the mornings. And now I've actually started waking up a little bit earlier. So I'm hoping that over the next few weeks, I can kind of ease into like a 6 a.m. wake up and then just get on get on my bike first thing and get my workout done. Yeah. And that's important. Yeah. And you're going to find that, like you said, you know, the kids are back in public school and you're going to find that, that um, happy balance in family life. And that helps you to be able to, to do that for you. So I agree with you. And, and as busy as you are, um, cause I know our listeners, they're probably going eight kids. How do you do it? And just so I can, can do a shout out. She also works full time and has eight kids and uh, she's been homeschooling them for almost what a year or longer. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, you know, it can be done. She's still taking care of her. Like, like she said, every day's not perfect. And some days, you know, I know that she's just not gonna make it happen. And that's just the way it is, but she doesn't give up. So um, let, let me ask you this, what is your very favorite exercise move? Oh, uh, that's a tough one. I don't really know if I have a favorite move. Um, I kind of feel like I go through these cycles of, I really like my cardio. And then other times I'm like, I hate cardio. I don't want to do it at all. And then I just want to lift and that's all I want to do. Um, and so I don't really know if I have a favorite move. Yeah, and, and it's, I was, I was figuring that's what you would say when I asked that question, because it depends, you're like me, we go through cycles is what I call it. So um, some days I'm like, and some weeks, some, some months, I want to lift heavy. I want to do the boot camp style workouts. I want it because it helps me to deal with stress. Um, and then other times I don't want to do that. I just want to do my Pilates and I want to stretch and I want to relax, but I still want to exercise. And then I go through times and T Tara and I actually have always liked cardio at, at some point. And um, we've done many, many virtual 5Ks. And um, we did them and um, she was, she would walk a lot or do her bike and I would do the treadmill or walk outside. And um, it was and it was just crazy because we just were talking about doing a um, what's it called a century bike ride? Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yep. And that is how many miles of biking? One hundred miles. And she always actually motivates me because I'm like, well, if Tara is going to try that, I think it's time I try that. And I don't even have a bike, but. She makes me want to bite because I'm so inspired by her wanting to do a hundred miles. That's, it would be so cool though. So that's something that we've talked about doing and um, we have yet to get started on that, but we will. I think I'm going to soon. my 10 K registration stuff is on its way to me and should be delivered this week or next. Um, and so my deadline to complete it virtually, I think is like February 20th. Um, and 10 K on a bike is a little bit, you have to go a little bit farther because you're not walking or running. Um, and so 10 K on a bike, I think it's like double. Yeah. And that's, she is talking about a, a stationary bike. Yes. So, um, and, and I have a rowing machine. I don't have a bike. So I'm like, trying to figure out, I'm trying to like compare it. And like, I've been looking up, you know, how many meters do I need to go to do a, a 5k or a 10k? And, and so, but Tara and I have a lot of fun with that. We both like a little bit of a challenge. 
And it's something that um, we make ourselves do. It's not something that I do. Like, I don't set her up with that in a program with us. It's just something that, that we enjoy. So um, we both have that in common, actually. Okay, so if a friend or family member asked about our programs, how would you describe it to them? Um, I'd say life changing. Um, I would say easy, but I don't really want to call it easy because I feel like at the end of the day, this journey is not easy by any means. I mean, it's something that you still have to kind of work through and you have to work for. Um, but I feel like it, I guess flexible would be another word. Um, the Warrior Wellness Fitness Team kind of helps it fit your needs and your likes so that you're not completely just like, I don't want to do this. And then you give up because you're bored with it. You don't like it. Um, it's not like that at all. It's very, for me, it was about learning um, what I like to do and learning my favorite things to do, even if that means for some weeks I focus more on cardio and then other weeks I focus more on lifting. Um, and the Warrior Wellness Fitness Team has kind of helped me figure out that it's it's adaptable in those situations. Yes, um, and for our listeners, so she works out with both me and Jake Steinmeier, and um, she does a um, more therapeutic uh, Pilates workout with me. And sometimes we'll do a little lifting, but we do lighter weights. Um, but then with Jake, she does corrective exercise and they've started doing heavier lifting. And um, she's done it amazing with that. Yes, she yeah. loves the bar. Lifting, stipe. <laughs> Just not super, not that heavy. I guess right now I'm at like the bar plus 10 pounds on each side. So probably around 50 pounds right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, and Jake is really great about, he's able to adjust for you if you're having a bad day. Because You know, we do have, um, both of us have health issues and things that sometimes it dictates what we can do. So if she's signed up with Jake to do a lifting section, a session, she will actually, you know, adjust that for her if she's having a bad day. Um, and that, that's, that's a huge part, I think, of, of what I like about the programs. Because if it were me, I would, I wouldn't need that personally. So um, how would you say that our programs have changed your life? Um, I'd say the biggest thing, I mean, again, would be like my energy levels. Now I know I can take care of my kids without having so many issues. Um, I can walk without my knees dislocating. I can play with my kids more. Um, I feel like, yeah, that's probably the biggest change. I mean, I guess I have lost a lot of weight too. Um, but I feel like the main thing is that now I know that I can take care of my kids and I can play with my kids again. Um, I don't have to tell them, you know, no, I can't play with you because I can't do that. I can actually get involved more with them. Yes, you're right. You're right. And that's, you know, we, we, we like to focus a lot on the non-scale victories. So, you know, it, it's not about just the weight loss because that comes with it, but that's an ad, what I call an added bonus. But the main thing is being able to live life and, and enjoy life, whether it's with your kids or your grandkids or your family or your husband. Um, it, it's just, it's a, such, such an important thing. And I know that I'm super proud of you because it, everything that you went through in the last 10 years and um, just in life in general and in your health, like you've so, seen huge improvements, it really, really on every scale on every level. So that's, that's exciting. It's exciting. I'm excited for you and I'm super proud of you. And um, what are your goals for the future with the program? Do you have any? <sighs> I mean, other than completing a century bike ride, <laughs> I think that's a great goal. Like that should be, that's going to take up as a bit. <laughs> yes. I feel like that one. Um, and I really would just like to tone up more overall. Um, another change that I've seen is I used to not even be able to flex my quads because they were that weak, which resulted in a lot of physical therapy for me. 
um, just this week and last week alone, I can actually see my quads, like when I'm doing fridges and things like that. And for me, like, I'm like, whoa, like <laughs> I'm really doing this. <laughs> and so I feel like for me, that's also a good, I think a good goal for me would be the century bike ride and then toning up just a little bit more. Yeah, just, it, it, it's just, I mean, it's kind of, um, to me, it's more of a mental thing, but I'm the same way where I like to see a little bit of definition. It doesn't have to be bodybuilding definition, but just to see that muscle, you're like, oh, I am working out. I am doing good. You know, I got this. And it just motivates you just to see just a little, even though we know it's not all about looks, but it does help. And the Century Bike Ride, is going to be amazing. So we'll have to update everyone once once we get that done. Because I'm going to do it with you. It just we just have to decide how long it's going to take us to get ready for it. So, yes. <laughs> and I may have to take a week off of work after that. You know, um, but <laughs> I may have to make an appointment to go see Jake so he can help me afterwards. I'm sure I'll be sore, or we'll both be sore. Yes. So, and. Um, probably going to want to fall off after I write that out. <laughs> but it will, it, you know, it's when I was reading about it, when you mentioned it, I, I looked it up and was reading about it. It definitely is something that will be a challenge that it will be so awesome whenever we can say, look what we did. Yes. But absolutely. then afterwards, we're both going to be like, now what? <laughs> right. We probably will. We'll probably have to like find one to do i only do it honestly i only do the 5k's 10k's i do them for the shirts <laughs> as for the bling. Sounds, yes i do it for the shirt and the metal like that's just my favorite part of the entire thing it's so funny because i was just telling the girls at class last night the same thing i said i was doing it for the bling like we did several one summer i mean like I don't know, four or five of them. And I would love the t-shirts and the tank tops. And then I've got all these medals and I don't have them displayed anywhere. Like, I don't know why it's such a big They're all packed in the box. I really need to get them hung up. My next one, the one that's on its way is Save the Chubby Unicorns. Um, and a portion goes to um, Save Rhinoceros. So um, I'm kind of looking forward to getting that shirt though. <laughs> Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love that. So I know we've talked about too, and um, the listeners will probably be interested in hearing this. We've talked about doing uh, 5Ks and 10Ks to, mm -hmm. to um, virtual ones that um, raise money for cancer, and mm -hmm. um, especially for children's cancer. Tara's daughter's been through cancer. She's a survivor. So it's kind of dear to both of us. And I think that's a great idea. So Tara, I wanted to thank you for, for this today, and I enjoyed it. And um, listeners, if you want any more information, you can go to our website, www.warriorwellnessfitnessstudio.com. And, um, you know, comment, let us know. Do you do 5Ks? Do you do 10Ks? What do you think about a century bike ride? Do you want to join us? Do you want to be in that challenge? So um, just comment, let us know. Thanks for listening today. Bye, Tara. Bye.